Greetings, I'm Kurt Fonger. Today we turn the spotlight on luxury, the home, the lifestyle, the very essence that is Palm Beach Island, Jupiter Island, and country club living. In addition, we focus on the latest trends in real estate, and I tee it up with Martin Hall, PGA Director of Instruction at Ibis Golf and Country Club. So let's get right into the swing of things. Stay right here. Welcoming back longtime friend of the show and well-known local realtor, Kevin Kent. Kevin, good to see you again. Kirk, good to see you too. Tell us about uh, the uh, local trends in real estate these days. Well, the Palm Beach County market is very exciting right now. Um, if you know the history, we kind of went off the cliff when the economy rolled over back in uh, 07, 08, 09. We've, we've recovered now, covered in a strong way. We've stabilized um, very well over the last couple of years. Um, it's an exciting time for sellers and buyers right now. Interest rates obviously are still so ridiculously low that um, for most people, even if they can pay cash, a lot of people are, are, are getting mortgages uh, just because they can do better with their money in other places. Sellers for so long were upside down in this market because when we went off the cliff, they were in the position where they, they had to hang on to their property. So many of them now are in, are in a better position that we're seeing a lot of uh, normal tr arm's length transactions, not so many short sales, foreclosures. We've got a lot of uh, sellers in the market right now, a lot of buyers in the market right now, and a lot of investors in the market right now too. Um, when I'm looking for a home for a buyer in a certain area, mm -hmm. I see a home pop up once a day, once every couple of days. Mm -hmm. uh, you, it, it's healthy for the market. It is. Uh, right now in Palm Beach County, our inventory levels are kind of normal. We've got about a five and a half month supply of inventory, which is considered a normal market by the by the real estate industry. Um, but boy, I'm telling you, in, in pockets, when, when things are priced just right or a little bit attractive, right. there's multiple buyers that are showing up. So there, there, there's a lot of interest in our area. The last, the winners they've had the last couple of years up in New England, which is one <laughs> of our feeder markets, there uh -huh. are people up there that, go, that are going, you know, I don't, I'm not in a position to, uh, to retire right now, but I know I'm going to want to, and I know Florida's just coming out of a, of a declined market. So there's a lot of people that are looking to buy a, a home for the future, and they're buying it right now, renting it out. Rental markets are very strong right now, too. The winter has been so terrible in the Northeast. We yes, are sir. going to see a flood of people coming down here looking to escape. We are right now. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, seasonal inventory that... Um, there's there's none existing and there's people that that plan on coming down for a month or two months and and they're down and and uh, they're doing whatever they can to try to extend that stay and many of them are finding a hard time to do that what do you think about the condo market these days always condos for sale yeah the condo market has has recovered just really just as strongly as the single family home market the condos and townhouses uh, have stabilized as well. They've not come up in value as much as the single family homes have in percentage, but um, there's still a very, very healthy condo market. Mm -hmm. And the rents uh, are getting high, so people look to buy. Rents have come up very strong. Again, it's supply and demand, and there's not a lot of rental inventory out there, so rental prices have been coming up, which make it a better return for investors too. Always can count on you for a great snapshot of the real estate market. Thank Kevin you, Kent, thank you. Anytime, sir. Ah, Jupiter Island. Natural, luxurious, quiet. Perhaps the quietest community in coastal Florida. Just the way the 800 or so permanent residents want it. The population more than doubles in season, but still quiet. The town is over 60 years old. But the town history proudly dates itself to 1815 and a land grant by the King and Queen of Spain that included a narrow barrier island that stretched nine miles from the St. Lucie Inlet to the Jupiter Inlet in what is now Martin County. In the 1920s, plans were to develop this as a sort of Hollywood East, bringing filmmakers and movie stars here to what would be called Picture City. That land boom went bust, and Jupiter Island evolved pretty much as you see it now. Large homes with lush landscaping. Oh, there's a golf course and club, police and fire, 
and a few businesses, but just a few, and just local. Sorry, there's no post office. The taxable value of Jupiter Island is placed at $2 billion. With only two and a half square miles of land between the Atlantic and the Intracoastal, that's a value of more than a million dollars an acre. By the way, if you want to see the homes of Jupiter Island, the best way to do it is right here on the Manatee Queen. If you go up Beach Road, all you're going to see are guard houses and trees. SouthFloridaHomesAndLifestyles.com, a great way to search and find area communities based on lifestyles, amenities, and more. Log on today. At Ibis Golf and Country Club, you can have it all while living in the heart of a lush oasis. Here you'll discover a vibrant lifestyle, including an all-new sports village, fitness center, and luxurious spa. We're the only community in the world to boast three Nicholas family Design golf courses. But what really sets us apart are our members. Ibis, the place everyone wants to come home to. The legacy that has been created by the International Polo Club Palm Beach is back. The anticipation of thoroughbreds charging down the field, the solid click of mallet on ball, the pop of a champagne cork, and the excited revelry of thousands. Experience the unparalleled glamour and competition this season. Purchase tickets to a match today at internationalpoloclub.com or call 561-204-5687. We're here on Palm Beach talking with Scott Rank of Florida Public Utilities, and it's a tankless job. A tankless gas water heater, Scott, very efficient. Yes, we're uh, featuring a tankless water heater today, tankless gas water heater. As you notice, we're outside, so one of the big things people like is not having that tank in their garage or in a closet somewhere, extra storage space. 30% uh, more efficient than a, a gas tank water heater, 45% more than a standard electric water heater. Uh, some of the great benefits are it just sits here looking pretty until there's a demand in the house for hot water and then uh, it will fire. How does it work? Well, the way it works is as the water flow, somebody opens a faucet, a shower inside, the water flows in this unit and it spins an igniter that will ignite the gas and then the, there's a coil, the water runs through the coil and is heated and then once it gets to the site, as long as you have gas and water, you'll never run out of hot water. How do you size it from big house, small house? Yeah, they're uh, sized by gallons per minute. You'll notice this one has a number here, it's 8.5 gallons a minute. Uh, basically they'll determine how many showers are in the home and size it accordingly where it'll run two to three showers at a time. Uh, laundry, you know, the whole load, whatever the house has. So. Besides the uh, energy efficiency, there are other financial benefits. Yes, absolutely. Through your natural gas utility, Florida Public Utilities, we offer conservation rebates up to $675 back from the gas company when you replace your standard water heater with a gas tankless. Mm -hmm. So behind us, we have a um, gas-fired um, whole house generator. Absolutely, and out here on the island, this seems like it should be uh, a requirement for every home <laughs> because when the power goes out, whether it's uh, just a bad thunderstorm or a hurricane, as soon as the power goes off, this unit's tied into the whole home. It's fired by natural gas, and it will provide electricity to keep the home running, all the appliances within the home. Now, we haven't had to use them very much over the last 10 years, thank goodness, but they're standing there ready to work. Yeah, and they come on uh, once a week just for a test to make sure they're still working. But also on Palm Beach where there's homes with fine art, uh, they need to have this so if the power goes out, their air conditioning is going to run dehumidify the house. Mm -hmm. So gas is more efficient than uh, electricity? Efficiency actually is the appliances. The uh, power itself is neither efficient nor non-efficient, so it's how it's used. But it's less expensive. Less expensive. Natural gas is a great natural commodity here in the United States. Scott Rank, Florida Public Utilities, thanks for being here for the gas. Thank you, Kurt.
proves that you own the property, the deed. But uh, the deed can be very difficult. This is James Giaffe, the Juris Doctor. We go to him for free legal advice. Nice to see you, Kurt. Tell us about quit claim deed. What does that mean? Well, I'd like to differentiate between quit claim and a lot of people call them quick claim deeds. Okay. There's no such a thing as a quick claim deed. Okay. It's quit claim deed. Okay. I know you're aware of that, but I just wanted to make sure the public is aware because you always hear that word quick, but it's quit, Q-U-I-T. It may not be quick. And all it's stating is whatever interest I have in the property, I'm transferring to the next party. Mm -hmm. That's all a quit claim deed means. Yep. There's no warranty of title stating that I own the property. It's just saying whatever interest I have, I'm transferring to you. But in my 34 years of practicing law, Kurt, I've seen so many quit claim deeds prepared by individuals rather than attorneys or title companies that create clouds on title. Now, you've heard of clouds on title. Right. Everything's in the cloud like nowadays. Yeah, like <laughs> this is a bad cloud. This is a bad cloud. It's a dark cloud. <laughs> uh, for instance, in Florida, you want to be sure you know the marital status of the seller because of the homestead protection of the Florida Constitution. If someone sells property and they're married, the spouse has to sign. So if you do not indicate the, spa the sp marital status of the s seller, it creates a cloud on the title because we have to investigate then. Was the person married? If so, the person needed to have the spouse sign the deed. So that creates a cloud on title until that issue is resolved. Now, in the, in the case of marriage, you can only be married or not married in Florida. You can't be separated legally or you can't have a common law marriage. Correct. So if you're married, you're married. And if you're not married, you're not married. And th you can't confuse the Although two. Although I did have a gentleman from Thailand once who, when I asked him if he was married, he said, do you mean my United States wife or my Thai wife? <laughs> <laughs> and you said? <laughs> I only know about the United States wife. Yeah. I think the, one of them was ceremonial, but the, the legal one was the United States well, wife. Well, I've had a case in which the, the, uh, the two people were living under the same roof, getting a divorce. She was buying a place, and he was going to stay in the old home, but sh he had to still sign the mortgage. Why is that? Because of the homestead protection of the Florida Constitution. If someone's mortgaging a property, the spouse has to join in and consent to that mortgage. But that doesn't mean the person is on the hook for no. the note. Right, just joining different. in on the mortgage, not signing individually for the note. Uh -huh. So what other problems are there? In legal the descriptions. Oh. In, in, in law, you have a legal description, a lot, number, not, a, not the address. The postal address is not the description of the property. Right. I've seen so many errors in legal descriptions, Kurt. People don't put the whole legal description. You have to have the plat book, the page number, which identifies the actual subdivision. Because in Palm Beach County being so large, there are multiple subdivisions with the same name. So if you said lot two in uh, Pleasant Ridge, there could be a Pleasant Ridge in Boca Raton and one in Palm Beach Gardens. So you really need to identify the plat book and page number. It's a little technical, but it requires the legal description fully as it is on any other document. Great advice, indeed. <laughs> James Giaffe, <laughs> our jurist doctor, thanks for the advice. You golf fans will recognize this man, Martin Hall, the director of golf instruction at Ibis Golf and Country Club. Martin, tell us about the Ibis Golf experience. Well, Kurt, I think it's a wonderful experience. We've got three great golf courses, three Nicholas golf courses, one designed by the Golden Bear himself, one designed by Jackie Nicholas, and one by Steve Nicholas. They all have their own character, and the members, um, you know, they have their favorites, but they're wonderful golf courses. Uh, the practice ground, goodness me, I've been here. I mean, I teach is what I do. I love teaching. I've uh, been here 18 years. If I didn't like it, I would have moved on a long time ago. Wonderful practice ground, great fitting center. Uh, very proud of our teaching staff, to be honest, Kurt. We've got a major champion on the teaching staff and um, well-trained. We're, we're very proud of our teaching staff, yeah. And you are a top 10 teacher as rated by Golf Magazine, and this is the man who is seen every week on the Golf Channel. So what kind of challenges does IBIS present? Uh, well, you can make it as hard or as easy as you want to. I mean, you can play off the black tees when it's a real test off the black tees, even for the, for the pros. You can go as far forward as you want to. So it's very user-friendly. It, it's, it's very much a Nicholas type of golf course where the fairways are fairly wide, but the challenge is the shots into the green. A uh, lot of natural preserves. Um, it's, it's, it's a wonderful place. You just have to come and see it. It's the Ibis Golf Experience. You know, I play a little bit of golf, so you wouldn't mind looking at my golf shot, would you? Mr. Absolutely not. Bring it on, Kurt Fonga. Let's go. We're all across 
welcome to shopping for groceries, shopping for a car, and shopping for clothes. But how many of us really shop for insurance? Well, here's a guy who says shop for insurance. He's Robert Norberg. He's the president of the Independent Insurance Agents of Palm Beach County, and you say shop for insurance. Most definitely, Kurt. In uh, South Florida here, it's a very competitive market, and you need to find a good company, not just the best price. Too many people shop for price. They think insurance is all the same, but it's definitely not. You can be cutting out good coverages, uh, you could be taking higher deductibles than you should be. Um, and the key is to shop out there and see what's available in the market before you make that buying decision. Now, I'm interested when you say that we have such a competitive insurance market here because in the press, we're told that so many insurers left this market after some of the hurricanes blew through. Right. Well, well not having a hurricane hit Florida in the last nine years has brought back a lot of carriers. Mm -hmm. There's been plenty of new carriers. There's a lot of capital flowing into Florida, and they're willing to take a chance now again. So, you know, you need to get out there, shop with an independent agent, of course. Um, they have more options than your standard big box, single brand agencies do. Mm -hmm. um, but if you check out uh, trustedchoice.com, which is the national brand for independent agents, uh, you'll probably be able to find a good local agency that can service all your insurance needs. That's Trusted Choice. It's TrustedChoice.com, and uh, that is the independent agent national brand. Now, do you expect your agent to go through um, all of the contingencies with you regarding the um, whether you have a high deductible or a low deductible and what you're actually insuring? Well, that's the thing about the independent agents and Trusted Choice. Uh, we're here to educate the consumer. Um, we're not here just to say, here's your policy, sign here. Um, we want to tell you about all the coverages, all the options, whether or not you need a low deductible or can afford a low deductible. Because sometimes, you know, it's pay now or pay later. And you could buy a cheap policy and be stuck when the claim comes and not be able to fix your house. Mm -hmm. have a, if you're going to have a high deductible, have some cash on hand. That's right. And know what you're having that high deductible on. What's the biggest mistake that consumers make when they buy an insurance policy? I think the biggest mistake is uh, thinking that it is a commodity. I, I, I don't think they put enough emphasis on it. They think they just need it for the insurance transaction to get the job done to buy the house. Um, but they, in the long run, they need to consider all the coverage options because that's where it's going to help you out. That's what insurance is for, to fix you after the claim. Mm -hmm. And even though it seems like it's just money out the door, hey, it's protection and you need it. Most definitely. And I would encourage everybody to shop with that independent agent, get out there, get many quotes as you can, and then make an educated decision. Robert Norberg, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Has this happened to you? You hear someone say, I'm going to Palm Beach, when they mean they're going to Palm Beach County. Palm Beach? Palm Beach Island, a very different place. And here's a guy who should know. He's Richard Allison, a longtime realtor on the island. Tell us about Palm Beach Island. Hi, Kurt. Well, there is, there is certainly a difference, and a lot of times you hear people talk about spending time in Palm Beach, and in reality, they've really just been to Palm Beach County. Mm -hmm. um, Palm Beach uh, itself is an island. Um, we have uh, approximately 8,500 people uh, that approximately triples during the season. Our seasonal months run somewhere between uh, November through the end of April. Uh, Easter is a, um, a benchmark for when people start to go back north. Um, just like any other place, people uh, wake up every day, uh, they put their, their shoes on, their pants on, they go to work, uh, they go to school, um, they go to the shopping center. Um, I think it's just some of them may be very famous and very rich. We, we, we don't have a lot of uh, quote unquote uh, California um, uh, celebrities in terms of the, the uh, entertainment business. Our celebrities are more corporate based. Um, we have a lot of people that uh, run hedge funds, uh, kind of under the radar money, if, if, if you will. Uh, I, I think ultimately, if you come to Palm Beach, you'll find that it's a very, uh, very clean, it's, it's very pretty, it's very well run. Um, but it, it's really just like anywhere else. Tell us uh, about the real estate these days. The real the estate, the, the real estate again, based on supply and demand. Um, we have, uh, I think people would find it interesting to know we have approximately 2,300 single-family homes 
and uh, approximately 5,500 condos. So it, when markets are uh, in, in times of crisis like we had in, in 2008, 2009, um, we didn't see prices drop as they may have uh, dropped in other areas of the country. Um, we're probably, I would say, insulated as to, um, as to as much as we possibly can be. Um, have they recovered, uh, even I, though I, they I didn't dip as much? Absolutely. I would say the market, if you go back um, and look at second quarter of 2010, um, that's when I, uh, in the trenches, I use the term in the trenches, mm -hmm. saw things starting to kind of move uh, just a little bit. And uh, we saw that movement accelerate uh, very slowly into 2011, again into 2012, and really 2013, we really started to see inventory uh, begin to be depleted. And um, uh, during a seasonal, uh, during the beginning of the season, we often see inventory, new inventory come onto the market. And uh, we just didn't see it for the last couple of years. And uh, um, again, this year. So our inventory is probably down 75% from the peak of, 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 of the market. When I say peak, I'm talking about uh, inventory. Richard Ellison, thank you. Two words that mean luxury. Anywhere you go in America, Palm Beach. Thanks. The legacy that has been created by the International Polo Club Palm Beach is back. The anticipation of thoroughbreds charging down the field, the solid click of mallet on ball, the pop of a champagne cork, and the excited revelry of thousands. Experience the unparalleled glamour and competition this season. Purchase tickets to a match today at internationalpoloclub.com or call 561-204-5687. Seas with the Tony Award winning Anything Goes. Anything Goes is the perfect Broadway getaway with white hot dancing and a songbook of Cole Porter's biggest hits. The New York Times calls musical comedy joy. Anything Goes. At the Kravis Center, March 10th through the 15th. For tickets, visit Kravis.org or call 561 832 show. SouthFloridaHomesAndLifestyles.com, a great way to search and find area communities based on lifestyles, amenities, and more. Log on today. This is Janine Henrion of Group One Mortgage. We're talking about reverse mortgages. How do they work? Kurt, a reverse mortgage is for seniors only 62 years of age or greater, and it enables them to utilize the equity in their home for a more vibrant lifestyle. Rather than taking the equity out of their home by selling it. Correct. It, the, the key here, if it's used for an existing home, is to enable them to stay in their home and improve their cash flow. Is this a complicated process? It, it does not have to be complicated at all, but the government is very concerned with seniors not being taken advantage of, and it will be required that they go through an independent third-party counseling session. Tell me about the um, experiences you've had with reverse mortgages. Oh, it's changed lives. Um, you know, for people who are very fit and very healthy but don't have the income or cash flow to continue making a mortgage payment or you know sometimes the homes are owned free and clear they've been faced with selling the home moving in with family because they can't really afford a housing expense otherwise whether it's renting or buying another home it enables them to stay in their existing home enjoy the surroundings that they're used to and live a higher quality life take vacations not have to worry about where their money for milk and eggs are coming from etc and if they want to know more call you absolutely reverse mortgages it might be for you or call janine henry on a group one We are here at a spectacular site on the Intracoastal Waterway in West Palm Beach with a spectacular swimming pool created by this guy, Larry Rowe of LB Rowe Pools. There was a pool here before, Larry. Yes, there was, Kurt. Um, homeowner recently purchased this property and the, the pool was going sideways and uh, they obviously wanted to take advantage of this uh, 
Infinity Edge. And so we tore out the old pool and uh, put in a new one for them. What other features are there in this pool? Um, obviously it's got LED lights, heating, automation, um, the newest pumps and f uh, filters and heaters, which pretty much go with all the pools now. When you talk about automation, you talk about remote control. Yes, uh, basically push button from inside the house or from their iPhone or Android, whatever they have. It, it can work from on the road or here at the house. Now when you're pricing out a renovated pool, uh, is it the same as renovating your house, uh, just a little bit extra? Yeah, pretty much. And a lot of these pools, it's easier to tear the whole pool out than to renovate them. Um, if you want to change or add benches or uh, the equipment, the drains sometimes have to be changed now. So a lot of times it's easier just to tear out the whole pool and maybe as little as $10,000 more to do that. And you took advantage of the site here. Yes, absolutely. When you have a, a view like here on the intercoastal in West Palm Beach, you got to show off the water. And, and I know when you walked in the backyard, you went like, wow. So it's definitely got that factor here. It's a, it's a great clean look. And the, the client here, they picked out some nice stuff. It looks really nice. LED lighting is important now. Yeah, it is. And it's just that you can run five or ten lights for the price of what you could run one light before. It's just crazy not to take advantage of it. So if you're thinking about renovating the pool, what are you thinking about? What sort of factors? Um, obviously the look. Um, a lot of people like to change the old deck to the new, uh, but doing that you have to upgrade the pumps, the plumbing. So there's some cost incurred in that, but um, overall it's mainly the look. It is spectacular, Larry Rowe. This is a great place. So there you are. If you'd like to learn more about the communities you saw here today, as well as other great new and existing communities here in South Florida, check out our website, SouthFloridaHomesAndLifestyles.com, where you can search and find the perfect community to call home. There are more than 1,000 new and existing communities in our database, plus relocation information, town profiles, and more. Thanks for watching today. I'm Kurt Fonger. Have a good week.